Hi lovelies, so I'm back again with another video and this week's video is going to be my everyday current favourites. I did put a poll up on my Instagram debating between this and my makeup collection, however it came out 50-50 and I thought just to make my life easier today I'm going to get this video filmed just because um, my makeup sort of area, vanity, whatever you want to call it, is a bit chaotic at the moment and it needs a bit of a clean and a sort out. So I just thought to make life easier for myself, I'm just going to film this video um, and as you can probably tell, I'm in a bit of a different backdrop. I, I've tried something different just because it's a bit comfier for me. Um, my last, I literally only filmed like there, um, but I was on a stool and it was like things were dropping off the little table that I used and... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what works for me. Obviously, this is all my third video, so let me know what you think of this backdrop. Um, I obviously want to try and make it a bit nicer and everything, but for the time being, this is what we're working with. Um, so yeah, I thought today we would just film my everyday current favourites. i um, going to do quite a... I say simple look, it's definitely not simple, but it's a very me look. Um, I did it last night for a meal and I absolutely loved it, so... Yeah, I'm going to recreate that look for you and it's using all the same products, so. I got you wrapped around my finger But don't you try So the first product I'm starting out with, if you watched my last video, is the Primark Brow Sketch in the shade Dark Brown. This is literally a dupe for the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Um, I've loved this product and it's made me fall back in love with drawing my brows on again, which is amazing. It's something I've not done for such a long time. So yeah, I've really enjoyed using this product again and it literally just glides on and it's so easy to like, if you make a mistake, it's so easy to correct it, if that makes sense. So I just use really small thin strokes to draw them on. I don't do them too heavy. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Like, this is like my third attempt at trying to film this. It's like I'm just not getting enough oxygen to my lungs. But I don't know why. But yeah, so apologies if I sound out of breath. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just happening. Um, but yeah, just using small, small, small thin strokes to fill in my brows. Yeah, as you can see, I've just filled in both my brows. They've been given a really, really nice shape. I love how, I mean, you might not consider it natural, but I consider it quite a natural look for brows that have been like drawn on with a pencil. So the next product that I'm going to go in with is the P. Louise Base in the shade number three. If you haven't got this, you need to go and get it because it is unreal, such an unreal product. Well, I'm literally just going to use this to carve out my brow with a flat brush. This is the DB11 brush. Um, this is perfect for carving out the brow. I actually prefer this to the P. Louise brushes. I find the P. Louise brushes a bit too thick, to be honest, like to work with. They don't get thin enough to carve out your brow. Then I bring it down onto my lid and just sort of pat it onto my lid. Um... And then in a minute, uh, which I'll show you obviously, I go in with a fluffy brush which just buffs out all the excess and basically makes it a seamless one. So as you can see, I've just put that on both my eyes and then I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques. I think it's literally just called a buffing brush. It looks like this. Apologies, my brushes do need a clean. Um, but I'm literally just going to buff this over the lid just to remove any excess product and make sure there's no um, product lying in the creases just because this will affect the application um, of your shadow. I'm not actually gonna go in with a shadow to start. I'm gonna go in with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, um, which is a gorgeous tan color. And I'm literally just gonna pack this on the outer corner like so, and then just bring it over the sort of like well under the eyebrow bone um you can feel it in your crease um if you feel your crease you can actually feel where the bone stops and starts so i'm just going to bring it up to where it stops which is normally just about in line with where your pupil lies um which is helpful if you're creating any looks similar to the one that i'm going to create for you today um just helps with blending and everything i'm just going to keep tapping applying and blending um 
in this outer corner you just want to make sure you really set that P. Louise base so it doesn't crease especially in these summer months because it's so hot everyone's sweating at the moment and the last thing you want is sweaty creased makeup sorry I have just turned up the light a bit just because um the sun keeps going in and out behind clouds um, so hopefully you can see a bit better now how I've blended that. I've literally just blended it all up the outside corner and just towards that brow bone and it just gives a really nice payoff. Um, this is the DB12 brush by the way for anyone interested, which is by Doll Beauty. So yeah, I'm just going to repeat that literally on the other eye and then I will show you what I'm going to do next. So as you can see, I've just repeated that on this eye so they're both looking pretty similar now. Um, if it does start to crease, basically just buff out the crease, um, the eyeshadow base underneath with the same colour, just keep buffing it, keep applying product and it will eventually stick. So next is a palette that my, well I saw in store with my mum and we both fell in love with it and bless her heart she checked me to it. So this is the 35S Sweet Oasis more of a palette, I mean look at those colours absolutely gorgeous i'm obsessed with these blues like i can't lie so i'm gonna go in with these two shimmery blues i'm gonna point it at the right too yeah them two shimmery blues in the middle which are the shades coastline cruise and reef dive so i'm going to take my um real techniques essentials crease brush which just looks like this it's still dirty from yesterday but i didn't see the point in cleaning the same brushes um and I'm first going to go in with the shade Reef Dive and I'm just going to place that at the beginning of my eyelid. So I'm just repeating that on both eyes. Then I'm going to take the Coastline Cruise shade which is slightly a bit lighter and just pop that on top. And if you feel like the lines are too harsh you can always go back in with your bronzed brush and just sort of buff the edges. So the next product I'm going to go in with is the NYX Epic Liner in the shade Brown. I am obsessed with this. I want this in like every colour that they do. It's such an easy to use, like, easy to use, easy to use belt tip liner. So I'm literally just going to line my lash line and add a tiny little flick at the outer corner. So I've just repeated that on both eyes, just a simple little wing liner. I'm not really keen on big wings on me, so this is just perfect. The next product that I'm going to go in with is the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. I got this, um, this was gifted to me actually in an Agora edit. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know what I'm on about. I'm not going to curl my lashes just because I haven't really got a good curler at the moment. I really need to go and purchase one, but I don't know which ones to use. So again, if any of you have any suggestions for an eyelash curler, please let me know. Um, but I'm just gonna apply this. This is the sort of wand it is. I'm just gonna show you like that so you can see. And I'm just literally gonna coat my lashes with this mascara. I think it gives my lashes quite a bit of volume, which sometimes is all you need when you're putting falsies on top. You just want them to look thick rather than long, if that makes sense. Do you not find you pull the stupidest of faces when you're doing anything with like your lashes or your um, lower waterline kind of thing? Yeah. but yeah it can look a bit clumpy um but i just like it for under my lashes i think it just creates a really nice full look i'm actually going to move on to base now so the first product included in my base routine this is a product that i've tried recently and it is the elf luminous putty primer which looks like this it's a gorgeous consistency and it works so well um ignore the state of the brush <laughs> but this is actually a revolution makeup skincare limited edition brush they don't actually have numbers or styles but it's just like a stippling brush um if you can see so i just swirl the brush around in the product and then sort of use a dabbing motion um onto the face like so we'll be able to see on camera see the glow that that's giving me which i absolutely love it is amazing so I've just literally stippled that all over my face, even down my neck a bit. So you can see I did a really nice glow. But yeah, it literally just looks like that if anyone's wondering what the packaging looks like. This is the yellow one. I think there's like a green and a pink one as well, but I can't remember what they were exactly. Then I'm also, because I love a dewy skin, I'm going to go in with the Max Strobe Cream in the shade 
peach light yeah peach light so i just apply a bit of that all over my skin because we just love a chewy look and i normally rub this in with my fingertips just because i feel like sometimes the heat of your fingertips really helps to melt the products into the skin for you um same with concealer actually that if you are say spot concealing like concealing a sp like particular spot sometimes actually applying the concealer and then sort of tapping it with your fingertip because of the heat of your finger it will help the product to actually melt into the skin more rather than sort of move found if you just tap especially with your ring finger because it's so gentle just tap on it and it covers it like that the next product i'm going in with is the nars radiant longwear and this is in the shade sahel if that's how you say it this is in my darker shade because i have tanned a bit in the sun but i feel like because the more i'm washing my face it's actually probably not my shade anymore but it does sort of match up with my neck so i'm literally just gonna apply this all over my face and this is using the real techniques by sam and nick contour brush but i just really like this for applying my foundation I'm then going in with a beauty blender. I don't actually know the brand of this, so apologies, but I'm literally just going over that to get rid of any lines um, and streaks from the brush, um, just to create a really smooth and seamless base. But yeah, literally just dabbing this all over my face like so so next i am going to go in with again if you saw my primark video from last week this is the foundation and contour stick in the shade chai i'm obsessed i can't not use it so i'm just gonna pop this in the hollows on my cheeks on my forehead a bit down the side of my nose and tiny blobs on my jawline and i'm going to take the real techniques contour brush but it's like the original whereas that was the sam and nick one if you can see the difference um it's literally just a sort of tapered brush i really need some new brushes um because i've had these brushes for years but they still do the trick like i've only had a few of them actually sort of break on me so i mean don't fix something unless it's broken do you know what i mean i'm also just going to tap over that again with the beauty blender just to make sure that it's a seamless blend next i am going to go in with one of my concealers i have two favorites at the moment so i'm debating which one i want to use i have the nars creamy radiant creamy concealer in the shade custard i have the instant age rewind eraser multi something concealer which is in the shade nude but i also really like this i think i'm gonna go in with this one you know i used a nice foundation so let's spread equality among the brands so i'm just gonna pop this under my eyes like so and then doing the new concealer trick give yourself a facelift darling use a beauty blender to blend that in just because i've found recently that is my preferred way of applying concealer i just find it really makes it look so flawless so because it's summer i'm propping into my cream products so the next product that i'm going to go in with is the iconic london sheer blush in the shade rose raya I actually also have it uh in the shade berry boom which is a slightly darker blush but it's quite an intimidating color but it creates such a nice um like glow then i'm just going to go in with this cheeks brush this is just from a random set it's literally just a domed fluffy brush and i'm just going to tap in that blush like so just on the top of my cheeks right so we are done with cream products next i'm going to go in with the jordana tisha duo setting powder this is in the shade Blondie. I think I used this in my first video. I am obsessed. Like, I struggle to use any other now. Um, I definitely want some of these for my client kit because unreal. I'm just going to pop this under my eyes where I concealed. I'm just using a beauty blender to blend that in just because I find that gives the most seamless effect on the um, powder. So I'm now just going in with the Hoola bronzer again. Just 
just popping that on my cheeks and I'm using a um, real techniques I'm sure it's called like a dawn brush or something you know this but I use it as a bronze brush and again on the other side so the next product that I'm going to I've forgotten my blush brush hold on so the next product that I'm going to go in with I also used in my last video which is the Primark blush high pigment um blusher in the shade in the pink gorgeous pink shade and literally only a pound and I'm using my again a limited edition re uh, makeup revolution brush and it's just like a I think really more of a contour brush sorry but I really like it as a blush brush so I'm just going to tap in that shade and I need my mirror for this because it ain't kidding when it says it's high pigmented um, and I'm just going to tap that on the top of my cheek I'm just going to literally go over with my powder brush and just sort of diffuse it a bit. Obviously, this is just a personal preference of mine. I just find it sits a bit nicer, but I do like a really rosy cheek at the moment. So, yeah. And then we're going to go in with um, the setting powder in the top of the Jordana T-shirt um set and this is like a brightening powder so i'm just gonna apply this under my eyes i'm just gonna go in with my current favorite highlight which is the doll highlighter palette i mean no words these are just insane um so you get six shades in here and i think i got this in the sale so should have been 40 pound but it was actually 20 which obviously is an absolute bargain i come in with the shade forever actually today which is this bottom sort of pinky rose goldy colour just because I think it'll go quite nice with the look um, and I'm using a Real Technique setting brush just to apply that onto the very high points of my cheek I just think these are such a they literally melt into your skin which is what I love um, I think a highlight that literally melts into your skin and doesn't look like a powdery product is the ultimate goal when it comes to a highlight i'm also gonna go in with this little doll beauty db13 brush it's a little tapered blending brush but i'm just gonna go in and i'm gonna take a bit of this shade which is the shade shine bright which is one of the most popular ones and i'm just gonna pop that in the very corners of my eyes just because I just think it really adds to this look and I did it last night and I've not done it for so long and I loved it. I'm going to pop a bit more of that bronzer under my lash line with the same, um, what brush is this, DB12. Again, repeat on the other eye. Then, I absolutely love these liners. I think they're such a good liner. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Slide On Pencil uh it's not a slide on pencil it's a glide on eye pencil this is in the shade gonzo absolutely love it so i'm just gonna apply this in my waterline on the bottom lash line as you can tell the primark full face primark really rejigged my current favorites because most of this stuff's Primark. Um, but I'm going to be using the same lashes, which are in the shade number two, Party Lashes, which are literally £1.50. They look like this. And I'm going to be using my favourite Duo Lash Glue to apply those. So, yeah, I'll come back when I've got them on. So, I've just applied those and they gave a really nice cat eye effect, which I absolutely love. And for £1.50, I just don't think you can knock them, really. I think they're a really gorgeous lash. So to finish, we're going to finish with lips and we're going to be going in with the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil. I don't know what shade this is in. Oh, Happy. It's in the shade Happy. It literally just looks like this. Again, this is was gifted to me by just my look. Um, but I'm literally just going to line my lips with this. Uh, so I've just applied that to my lips. I always draw it a bit thicker just because I'm not applying a lipstick. I'm going straight in with a gloss. 
uh, again this is the Primark high gloss and this is in the shade candy I'm also going to apologize for the state of my lips at the moment I'm suffering really badly from eczema around my lips and like split bits I assume it's because of the hot weather it's sunny again would you believe um but yeah so I apologize if they don't look the nicest but I'm literally just applying this gloss all over because I feel like it creates such a nice ombre effect with the gloss like so and to finish the look we're going to finish with my favourite ever setting spray which is the Urban Decay All Nighter and it's the original all day but a good day Oof. so there we have it that's the finished look um i hope you all like it obviously this is again is the look i did last night and i had a couple compliments on it so i thought i'd recreate it for this because most of the products were my favorite products anyway if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe it helps me so much i can't believe the reaction i've been having to my first two videos to be honest it's so nice and overwhelming i thought i was going to be judged for doing what i'm doing but now that i'm doing it and i'm loving it i'm kind of like even more oblivious to what other people think so yeah if you have enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye